Hmm. We can kill these guys without worry of... Come on! <laughs> without worry of any alarms or anything. And hopefully they might drop uh, rations. And again, I'm being hypnotized by the music and the nostalgia. Alright. And the fact that I don't want to be seen. Is there something I'm missing here? I need to look up here, make sure no one's coming. Okay, somebody is coming. Oh yeah, we have to crawl under the door. And it's, what's funny is like... If you think of how long, like, this takes us, it's... What do you have, cat? I don't even know what that is. God damn it. All right, let's chaff grenade. Should be here. Plenty of them. And then we're going to go with the thermal goggles so we don't step on too many mines. And somehow I managed to not pick up the mine detector, I feel. Yeah, somehow, somehow I missed the mine detector. But I'm guessing... Hmm. Sneaky. Yikes. I'm guessing it's out here. I'll have to look it up. Because I... I could have swore it was out here. Maybe it's just like a little bit of a pain in the ass to get during the Falcon Raven fight and it just slipped my mind to get it after I was done. But we're supposed to have it before the fight. So that leads me to believe that it's back there in the tank hangar somewhere. Yeah, because there's no... no spinning boxes. We'll likely... well... we'll possibly run into it as we backtrack. Let us hope. <clears throat> this is the room with the... Yes. And they apparently shut that system off. Yep. Good, good. I'm surprised they didn't leave that on because, like, you're... Well, I guess that that's kind of, like, the humor in it, too, is, like, you go through that whole... Are you return... Ret oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Always hitting the wrong fucking buttons. Oh yeah, the elevators don't work if it's not... Um... Green. This game is so much more forgiving than some other, there we go, some other permutations of it. 
it's another game too that kind of unfortunately suffers the same symptoms as any long running series where a lot of the storylines are kind of oh yeah right because now I have the higher level key card nope mm, I tried to do like a roll All right, let's catch him before he spins around that corner. God damn it. You're careless and you don't save often. It's not, there we go. Yeek. All right, not really the best. Okay. All right, he spins back around that way. What? I think it's strange that, like, they... With the... You know, military otaku, firearms otaku uh, tendencies of this series. I'm surprised that, like, for the weapons, they didn't actually give it, like, the caliber of, of like, the cartridge instead of, like, calling it, like, you know, FAMAS rounds or... Ooh... Another puzzle. And that stupid barrel has to be right there. God damn it. PSG1, PSG1 bullets. See if it said like, you know, oh, what's the PSG1 chambered in? 762 by 51 NATO? Yes, I get it. I can't punch while getting shot, apparently. Son of a fuck. Well, we know where it is, and we know that... That stupid barrel, and it's like if you touch it, like you bounce off of it, like you're magnetically, like, repelled from it. Perhaps we can try to sneak in there and maybe stumble across the mine detector in the meantime. Then we're going to unequip that card so we don't accidentally open the door. And it looks like if we get a s thing like this. Oh yeah, baby. Tactical espionage action. You got a PSG-1. You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. Hmm. God damn it, this button, those it looks like the place is protected by infrared sensors. Somehow you'll have to make it past the beam. Somehow. If you have any questions about weapons or equipment, you should ask our military analyst, Nastasha. Her frequency is 141.52. Interesting. A new, uh, new person to talk to. I think we will do that. Is it Nast Nastasha Romanenko, I think. This is Nastasha Romanenko. Yes. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. 
I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Well, fortunately, for time's sake, uh, being that I'm a firearm enthusiast, I don't need her to... God damn it, tell me... Anything about how did this is all right? If hopefully, if we leave and come back, we'll get another shot in here. No, god damn it, and then we got to start all over again. Kill him. Kill them all and get seen. Because my collarbone touched his back before I grabbed him, it alerts everybody instantly in the entire facility that I'm here. Anyway, since I'm a firearm enthusiast, I don't need to know anything about the sniper rifle. So fortunately for time's sake, that's a that's a thing and uh i'm just gonna jump cut when i'm do this like a good boy okay i made it through got the psg one we are golden and what i did want to do was i wanted to revisit uh this room down here because I seem to remember one of these doors being a level five. Yes. Camera. I forget the use of the camera. I know there's goofy shit you can do with it, but I think it doesn't have a purpose until later. But even then, I might be completely wrong. Uh, let's see what... Uh... Take photos whenever you'd like. Oh yeah, and they stored on the memory card. That was like prehistoric uh, screenshots. You could show your friends if you had any and if you if you um let's see what is there anything down here nothing uh yeah i remember you could take pictures of stuff like in the sequels to this like you could open a locker before you'd hide in it and you'd notice there was like a nudie poster on the inside or the reverse of like the uh, locker door and you could take a picture of it and like pull it up on the viewfinder and then call like Otacon and he'd be like snake like what what are you doing why are you showing me this this isn't anything I need to be looking at and there's still no mind detector I should have taken the opportunity while I was Um, looking for or trying to get through this area without alerting anyone to look up the location of it turn around there we go god damn it I am really not 
coping well with the stealth mechanic of this game for whatever reason. Hopefully they start us out when we came into this room after we've done everything. Good. And actually, let me, even though I'm, I'm certain the mine detector isn't in here, let me take the opportunity now to look, look it up. Okay, we found the mine detector. Fortunately, we have the internet now. Though I had to, like, check several different sources because someone poses the question, like, where's the mine detector? And everybody has to chime in. And, of course, no one actually outright answers the question. It's like, well, I don't see why you need it because you can use the thermal goggles and yada yada. And it's like, no, that's not what I asked. Ugh. So it's in this building right after exiting the vent, and it's in the room to the right, and you need the key card to open the door. Which it certainly isn't this room, because we were in here. Oh, come on several times unless of course they mean the second floor oh i mhm mm i know where it is and i'm i feel silly for having missed it because i remember when i first made my way through this section i was up on that floor discovered I didn't have the key card and I went back downstairs and uh, on my return to this area after I had gotten the key card I neglected to come back up here and check what was in that room oddly they can't hear me sprinting like six feet above their head. Mm. Is he on this floor? He is. Right, let's unequip that so he doesn't see us when if the door accidentally opens. And we'll try to God damn it. Whoa, okay. Yep, we haven't been in this room. There she is. Now that's the mine detector I miss. No! Mmm purposely sticking as close to the wall as possible, but evidently that wasn't... <sighs> that wasn't enough. Hold on a minute. In our first pass through here, we didn't need this. But now, we do. And being that we're full, we can go ahead and use one. I'm not going to go back outside and scour... Um, what? What button? There. Scour the outside for ammo we're full up on or anything we had missed. Ah! Mm. wonder if we're gonna... Get off the wall, goddammit. There. Get in there. Let's try this again. <laughs> Son of... I am 
still not used to this ridiculous uh oh spaghetti -o. it's like there's no subtlety aside from that when you're standing and trying to move because this was you know before they invented like the whatever that would be where you can a controller acceleration i believe and they don't have it on the d-pad it's only in the analog sticks but this game i guess we could do that just tap it because i don't want to go like this and crawl like two feet to get up to the guy so yeah we'll just do well nope if you tap it too quick there look at that it's doing like a korean back dash but we're moving forward shouldn't shouldn't be saying Tekken terms in a Metal Gear Solid game. Okay, now that we have the metal detector, the PSG one, let's hightail it out of here. Let's make sure they didn't turn this bullshit back on. Okay, and we can go back to Meryl. I swear it's a different button every time. Is there a reason? Oh, card key. Goodness sake. Oh, and when the uh, time comes, when we do see Sniper Wolf, uh, there is a lot of similarities between her character and uh, Quiet's character. And there's even in MGSV, there is uh, an outfit for Quiet to wear Sniper Wolf's uh, costume. And another interesting thing is that they're both... Um, extremely... Uh, scantily clad I should say in uh actually in Metal Gear Solid 3 uh what's her name it's not Naomi uh the blonde Russian chick uh looks almost identical to Sniper Wolf so I kind of have this sinking suspicion that somebody on the development team prefers or has a preference for uh like a certain costume yeah no mm. I wonder if we can toss this and not alert the world okay and get over oh yeah it's on the upper floor thank fuck and we'll have to wait yeah because both yeah sniper wolf sniper wolf quiet and the character that i'm uh having a hard time remembering her name all have kind of the same outfit going on to a certain degree quiet being the most furthest from the other two but she's a lot sim more similar and yeah looks and stuff except quiet's a brunette so maybe maybe I'm just completely insane Come on, hit the button, hit the button. Okay, that doesn't, they don't give a shit about that, but if I'm in the elevator, then they care. This is the correct way, right?
Um, no. Though, with this key card, I wonder if we can get access into the um, other rooms that we couldn't before. That's a one. But we should still check it out because they... Yep, yeah, rations. Always good to have some extra of those. Level four? Was that? Stun grenade. Stun grenade. Well, being that the inventory isn't full, then we clearly could use, use them. All right, now... Another one of these out. Nothing even in this room. Get unstuck off the wall. Oh, all right, now... Another one of these. Come on! Okay, well, we gotta come back here when we get a level six card. So many chaff grenades. And I gotta regulate my air a little more. A little better. Nikita, Nikita. Oh, that's level three, never mind. Night vision goggles. I knew there was something in here. We're going to be desperate, though, to get out of here. Come on. Yep, there we go. We're starting to suffocate. You know, if you weren't a smoker, you might be able to hold your breath a little longer. Oh, fresh air. All right. Image intensifier allows sight in extreme low light. Just a green halftone pattern as opposed to a red one. Those will come in handy. I'm sure. And we don't have to come back here as far as... Well, we got that level 6 room to investigate when we get the card. I feel like I'm not even in the right building. There we go. Was anything back here, level five, that we didn't look at? We got three, four, three. What was this one? Six. Okay. Might as well try to pick this up while we're here. Nope, don't even need it. I'd rather not need it. And no, I don't need it, then need it and not have it. If that makes any sense. Oh. Somehow I managed to drink an like absurdly large mug of oolong tea in an hour. <sighs> oh yeah, and I did say I would give an effort to talk about stuff that we missed. So, uh, talked about Meryl, uh, Campbell and Foxhound, Snake, uh, counter-terrorist thing. Uh, every boss. So when they reformed, goddamn dogs are back. When they reformed, you know what? I wonder if we can crouch and send a Nikita through there. No use, huh? We have to be standing. Nope, they don't even want us doing that. But we can use a grenade. Interesting. 
You know, stun grenade might be uh, a viable option, even though we technically already killed them once. It uh, apparently doesn't matter. Okay. Here? Yes. Okay. So when the new uh, the new uh, leader of Foxhound took over, all the uh, members or agents of it uh, kind of a adopted like the old uh, motif of what Foxhound used to be like, like trench coats and everyone would have like a specialty. Yee! Everyone would have a specialty and Psycho Mantis and uh, Vulcan Raven, Revolver Ocelot, like they're all like eccentrics, so to speak. This is going to be really hard to aim with this fucking f controller. All right, we took a diazepam, get the PSG-1, we lay down. Okay, so we'll have to do like a thing like this. Let's see if we can't find her. We reached the limit. Oh, there she is. One thing that's cool about uh, all of Kojima's um, sniper fights are they're all like multiple phases, which I really do like this one and can we shoot the rats We've gotta focus and we can't hold our breath we have to use we have to use this and of course that would make us get hit so it throws our aim off all right and Meryl's gone obviously because why would someone not take a opportunity to get why would someone not take an opportunity to remove her from the equation to make it easier all right anyway multi-phase fights like with sniper wolf in the end and oh come on you can't expect that kind of accuracy with what we got going on here. And this tightly constrained circumstances. Luckily, she's only going to be in one of three places. Oh, God. Let's go ahead and use all that ammo up. So, if we are this low on ammo, what would happen if we run out? I'm guessing we'll, we can leave and come back, and either she'll be back to fall. Oh, when we run out, it apparently just reappears in the corners. That's good. Okay, let's pick this up. Get this equipped. Get our diazepam ready. I need to look that up if diazepam is a real pharmaceutical. And if it indeed has the effect 
um, that it does. I would imagine so, because if I do, if I remember right, there are, uh, um, drugs that, um, If I can, I hate this. There are drugs that do uh, steady your hands. I'm doing worse. This is so stupid. You can see her breath to know where she's gonna pop out at. if you lose track of her. But mostly the problem is, is I can't aim fast enough to even... Really? Nice, nice hitboxes. This is ridiculous. And the insistence that you lay down, because I mean, Logically, if you had to... She doesn't have to lay down. She can shoot standing up. All right, where are you? And you take this drug... And it won't even let me... Over there. You take this drug and it only lasts like a f less than a minute. Oh my god. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get down. <sighs> Only lasts like less than a minute and it's virtually impossible to aim without it. There. Phase one, complete. Jesus. All right, let's just make sure there's no more mines. Okay. And can we crouch here, highlight that, and then we'll call Mr. Campbell. Good job with Wolf. Is Meryl okay? I don't know. I don't see her around. You don't think she's been captured, do you? Could be. Let's ask Wolf. If she's still alive, I'm gonna get some answers. Snake. About Meryl. I'm counting on you. Eva. That's her name. The, uh, similarly dressed character in Metal Gear Solid 3. This is kind of just a... They have a really... Because, like, they... <clears throat> Snake, wouldn't now be a good time to save your mission? You haven't saved your mission in a long time anyway, right? What's going on? I'm not sure. I'm getting a bad feeling. Bad feeling? Something you ate? No, I'm serious. Like a premonition or something. Well. Never, uh... Never turn down a woman's premonition. Snake, it's all up to you. 